Most of Africa continues to lag behind in having efficient, reliable and modern public transport services. Egypt is one of the countries on the continent trying to change that. It has inaugurated its light rail transit system, linking the new administrative capital to Greater Cairo. According to the government, the expanded line, which is being built in cooperation with Chinese companies, will have the capacity to transport up to one million passengers every day. Yasser Kim takes us on an exclusive ride on Egypt's light rail transit system. We are here at Adli Mansour station, which is named after a former president who took over during a critical time when Egypt was transitioning from an uprising to democratic elections. Now this is a central station where the electric, common and clean energy transport system is linked here. We've got the metro line, we've got the electric bus, we've got the intercity bus and minibus, and now the new addition is the LRT. The light rail transit passes by 22 stations, linking new satellite cities with Cairo and the new administrative capital. It covers a distance of 105 kilometers at a top speed of 120 kilometers per hour. It's good very fast and clean. It saves a lot of effort and time that is wasted on traffic to the new capital. It's my first time on the train, really good. I'm coming from Heliopolis in Cairo towards the new city of Badr. I expect it to be the main transportation for Egyptians in the near future. The quiet, smooth and comfortable experience here is owed to the high quality manufacturing of these vehicles by China's AVIC group. Egyptian companies are building the infrastructure, but a Chinese consortium that includes CREC and AVIC is manufacturing the trains, the service and maintenance centers, and has provided three-year training courses for Egyptian engineers in China. We managed to speak with the first Egyptian female light railway transport locomotive operator. I'm enjoying it very much but needs a lot of concentration as we are responsible for the safety of passengers. We had tough interviews to test our psychological strength, self-confidence and IQ. It was followed by six months of theoretical and practical training on the train, then work in the simulation cabin and final test driving the train beside the experienced coaches. Six females are now working on site. The LRT is powered by electricity, saving the state billions of dollars in fuel and diesel consumption annually. Chinese banks have also helped make this project a reality by financing a huge portion of the $11 billion cost. The project is still in its first phase, but when it's totally complete by the end of 2024, it should transport over 1 million passengers a day, making it a vital component of a clean energy transport network in Egypt. This is Yes Hakim for CGTN, Cairo, Egypt.